Ah, what, I, what do I have to say about Cyberpunk? <laughs> it's, it's sunny and it's fun. Pat, I think you probably are aware of this. As a matter of fact, I'm sure it's on your calendar, but we're just days away from the second largest aviation event in all of North America that happens right here near my home called Sun and Fun. You going to be coming this year? I will be. This will be, I can't even remember how many this will be, but I don't know that I've missed other than uh, one, I think, during COVID when they didn't have it. I don't think I've missed one in, oh, a long, long time. Yeah, it's been a, it's been at least 30 years for me that I've been going to it, and it is a fantastic show, and I'd like to encourage anyone watching, if you have even a cursory interest in aviation, you really owe it to yourself to go to Sun and Fun, even if you have to travel a distance, as Pat does, because he wasn't smart enough to buy a house near it, as I did. <laughs> but let's talk about that a little bit, Pat. If you're flying in, you don't have to fly into Lakeland. And I've been lucky for the last 10 years, I've flown in a display aircraft for Sun and Fun. And many people do fly in and camp out. But you often fly to a, an airport near Sun and Fun where you're not encumbered by all that traffic. What's yeah. your plan? Yeah, that, that's true. I have actually flown into Lakeland a couple of times and uh, and it was fine. You know, uh, people are intimidated by by doing that. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I would do it if I, if I was, if it was the first time and I'm by myself, but I, I would certainly want another pilot or another person in the airplane to be reading the notum to me and, you know, making sure that, uh, uh I'm doing the, the right things and, and, and a traffic spotter as well, but it, there's nothing particularly magical about uh, flying into sun and fun. It's pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, however, um, the airplane, the airport is closed uh, during the air show portion itself, and it can get kind of chaotic when people are trying to leave after the uh, uh, the air show closes um, and and the and the airport opens again. So uh, we typically fly either into uh, Tampa, uh, the big airport at Tampa, uh, the uh, class Bravo, or this year we're going into Kissimmee. Uh, and the reason is that there's a, a better choice of Airbnbs um, for the, the large group that we're going to have. I think we've got a, a nine bedroom house or something like that. Wow. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. So, um, but we've got a large group of people coming from Houston and a bunch of different airplanes. And um, so Kissimmee is going to be a little bit more comfortable for us. You mentioned the NOTAM, the Notice to Airmen, which has the procedure for flying into Sun and Fun. And absolutely, if you're flying to Lakeland, you really need to read that and have a printed copy of it with you. But there are other options. You know, as you say, Pat, there's a number of airports. I'm at Winter Haven, which is 15 miles away. There's also Bartow, Plant City, Tampa Executive, Kissimmee. There's a whole bunch of airports around. So you don't have to fly directly into Lakeland where all that traffic is. But I would actually advise you to read the NOTAM and be familiar anyway, just because you can see how the traffic flows and kind of keep yourself out of that, even if you're going to one of those area airports other than Lakeland itself. Yeah, it, it, look, it, it, it looks crazy. If you have ADSB in, um, you know, via one of the products that allows you to get that so that you can see it on your iPad or your, your other device, uh, it, it, it tra traffic's crazy uh, coming in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, thousands it's, and thousands of aircraft coming from every direction. It's impressive. Yeah, it's 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 manageable. It's quite manageable. But uh, boy, when you see it, uh, when you see that traffic displayed on the on the great sandbar that is Florida, um, it, it is pretty impressive. <laughs> you got to take your hat off to the controllers, both at Lakeland and up in Oshkosh for AirVenture. They just do a remarkable job. And it's it really is incredible. The other thing, though, is for those who are, are not flying in, but just thinking maybe I'll drive in, I'll, I think I'll go to the show. It doesn't matter what facet of aviation you're interested in. It's represented there in some way. If you're a flight student, there's all kinds of flight schools to talk to. If you're looking for your first job or your second job, there's all kinds of networking opportunities. There's workshops where you can learn to weld or do wiring or do fabric. It's absolutely amazing, and it's a week-long extravaganza of all things aeronautical. 
I just can't think of anything but wonderful platitudes to heap on Sun and Fun. It's such an amazing place. And Pat, this is the 50th installment. This is this is a big, big deal. They're they're preparing like you can't believe. Is it? I didn't know that. I guess yeah. I have actually. I guess. You'll you'll know when you get here because the Noah hangar has a huge water tank outside. Noah being the hurricane hunters, they're based in Lakeland. They painted the water tank blue and put the Sun and Fun emblem with 50th on it. So no everybody will be aware this is the half century installment. It's just a remarkable thing. Yeah, it's a fun place to go. All of the major manufacturers that you know of, of, of products that you have in and around your airplane are there. Uh, there's four hangers, four big enclosed hangers with multiple aisles. It's just a trade show. It's basically a trade show. Anybody that's in a, any kind of industry that's been to an industrial type trade show before, pipe and drape type trade show, that's what Sun and Fun is in, in, with an air show thrown in every day. You know, you're right. It's actually considered a convention and it right. is the largest convention every year in Florida by far. I mean, it's bigger than anything else, even though it happens out on the grounds of an airport, not in some big Coliseum type thing. Yeah. But okay. it, you know, I'm, for me, part of the thing is I've met some real luminaries there. I got a chance to walk around and talk with Bob Hoover once. Oh, yeah. I met Jaeger there. I ran into Frank Borman there once, Commander yeah. of Apollo 8. I yeah. mean, you can go shake Patty Wagstaff's hand and get an autograph. Yeah. And there's all kinds of educational things beyond the workshops. There's all kinds of educational classes because there's a high school on the grounds. So instead yeah. of doing that in a tent now, like they did in the old days, many of these forums are done in the high school in an air conditioned classroom where you can really be comfortable and enjoy yourself and listen to some of the smartest, most capable people in aviation. I was sitting at, in one of the big tents having lunch with a couple of my uh, uh, aviation buddies that we flew with, and there was a gentleman sitting across the table, and as one does, one says, you know, where are you from, and, you know, what would you fly in, and all that kind of stuff, and it turns out that he owns a Taylor Aero car, oh, one wow. of those old Monk Taylor Aero cars. There's only I think, three or four of them that are still in existence, and he owns one of them. And it was just a random conversation. I couldn't remember his name if you if you forced me into it, but it was just one of those random conversations that I I couldn't help. I had to ask more questions about that. There happened to be one on display at the Sun and Fun that year, um, and it, it wasn't his. But um, they were uh, they were their goal was to make it airworthy and fly it. Yeah. And, you know, that's the thing. You, you meet such interesting people and there's so many different aircraft. As I mentioned, there's a public high school right on the field. It right. is Central Florida Aerospace Academy. It is a high school for aeronautics. And those kids are on the path to become pilots, mechanics, engineers. They actually have a brick walkway out front with mm -hmm. the names of every student who solos or get their certificate. It's, it's really encouraging. And right next door, is the Lakeland Aero Club, which is arguably the premier high school aero club in the country. That alone is worth checking out. So it, it's actually a family event. It's not just for people your age and my age, Pat, who right. are going to get together, and have coffee and talk about the good old days. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter what you're into. And it doesn't matter if you're 13 or you're 92. There's something there for you. And there's probably a whole lot of it. Yeah, it's just great fun. And of course, part of the adventure is just getting there. I, you know, I, I mean, I, I can, the, the trade shows, the air shows themselves kind of run together over time, but the, the distinctive memories about the various uh, ex, ex, uh, adventures that we've had getting there from Houston, it's about a 700 mile flight and getting home um, with weather things and, and uh, unexpected stops along the way, um, that's what brings a smile to my face. I mean, I, I love the air, the air show. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love the, the event itself. Uh, it's a nice uh, chance to, uh, uh, to catch up with folks I haven't seen for a while from different States and things like that, uh, to have the chance meetings with, with people like you mentioned, I've had the same experiences at, at various air shows running into real luminaries in the world of aviation. And they're just walking around like everybody else with their mouth open, looking at all the toys. Um, 
but it's it's really it's it's the journey for me more so than the destination. We have just had so much fun investigating places to get the uh, you know the five hundred dollar hamburger because we're buying a lot of gas. Yeah, uh, and and uh, and just just other things. Um, Boy, you, you want to get an education on, on how to fly, fly long cross countries. It's, Boy, it's, I'll tell you, this is the, kind of the guilty pleasure of my life. And I hate to say it, you're coming 700, 800 miles to this. People come from all over the country, all over the world. I mean, people yeah. have flown up from South America to this. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable. I always feel a little bad because, as I say, I, I've flown in a show plane the last 10 years and end up flying out at the end of the show. And after going for so many years, I know a lot of the vendors and manufacturers and things. And we're usually gathered in the morning on the, the day after the show, getting ready to pull our aircraft out and go home. And all these people are talking about they're flying to Oregon, they're flying to Kansas, they're flying to Texas, they're, they're going to Rhode Island. And I'm just, yeah, I'm my, my flight's going to be almost 15 minutes. <laughs> so, uh, I feel a little bad for everybody else, but as you say, it's a remarkable thing because you meet people from the local area, you meet people from around the world. There's just, I mean, Piper's there, Cessna's there, Beechcraft is there, yeah. home builders. There's a whole section for light sport aircraft and ultralights. I mean, anything you can imagine that flies, including helicopters. And this year, Pat, up at the Lakeland Aero Club, they have a, a a manned drone. I, I, that's the wrong term, but I can't think of the right one. But it's got 16 rotors on a ring, and it's got a cabin that the pilot sits in, and they're actually doing flight demos on it. I've actually signed up to be one of the people to fly that thing. And I'd love to do that. To I would love to do that. But, you know, you mentioned about your flight. I would I would suspect that there are all those people that you were talking about that are making those flights. I actually probably feel badly for you because your flight is only 15 minutes. Yeah, that's true. I barely settle in and I'm home. And, uh, <laughs> and that is part of the great thing. You know, we both have had the ability to do long cross countries. And right. it is remarkable when you see America from the air, not just your local area, not just within 100 miles. When you actually make the decision, I'm going way over the horizon. I'm, I'm going to go to sun and fun. You just get to see America for what it really is green and lush and farmland and forests and the occasional collection of people in a small congested area. It's just amazing. And, and it's part of what makes aviation great. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more, Jamie. It's just fun. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be leaving either on Tuesday or Wednesday. I think the show actually starts on a Tuesday. It does. We're, we're leaving Houston here on Tuesday or Wednesday. We're kind of leaving it flexible for weather. Uh, everybody is flying. Ha it has an instrument rating and, and an instrument capable airplane. But there's some weather, obviously, you just don't want to fly in. Uh, yeah, oh, th yeah. Thunderstorms would be one. Um, but um, so we kind of pick and choose. Um, you know, we're not making this trip to prove anything to anybody. Um, we've just we just we just want to have a good time and do it safely. And and so we kind of watch the weather a little bit and um, and um, and then we do it. You know, it's April 9th to the 15th. And yeah, it starts on a Tuesday, ends on a Sunday. It's in Lakeland, Florida, K-L-A-L, -L, Lima, Alpha, Lima. That's the airport that it's going to be at. But the thing that's nagging at me, Pat, is you're going to be there and I'm going to be there. And we both have cameras. I think it's possible Mad Props may do something from the grounds of Sun and Fun. I'm, I'm not promising. Ooh. I'm just saying it could happen. Maybe. You never know. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you in person again, because as much as I enjoy these chats, the distance between us is I, I just can't reach out and shake your hand, no matter how hard I try. So I understand. It's just a virtual thing. So. Well, I'll see you at Sun and Fun. And folks, I hope we see you at Sun and Fun, too. And if you see Pat or I wandering around the grounds, stop and say, hey, because we're always happy to meet a viewer. Enjoy the show, learn what you can learn, and we'll meet right back here afterwards and kind of debrief on the whole thing. Sound good? Sounds like a plan to me, buddy. I love it. Pat, you have a great day. You too, Jamie. Adios.